Oh, hey, Teddy. Oh, hey, Adrian, what's up? How are you doing today? Um, I'm actually kind of sick today, so not my best. So how do you usually start your day? Well, on a good day, I wake up around 9.30, sleep into a whopping late hour, as you can tell, and then this morning I actually woke up like a mess. What's your go-to breakfast item? Oh, go-to breakfast item. Well, my mom's going to kill me, but I don't eat breakfast, and usually I just have a cup of coffee and maybe some water if I'm feeling really healthy. What song do you usually start your day off with? If I'm feeling super energized, I like to start with So Emotional by Whitney Houston, and if I'm feeling more like about work, I listen to 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. Are you dating anyone right now? Yeah, but don't tell her I was talking about it. She won't, she won't like it. Someone you look up to in life. Let's see. Oh, Gina Prangelica Cordova. If you could have lunch with any historical figure, who would it be? Historical figure. Oh, Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Star sign? Uh, I hate talking about this on camera, but I'm a Gemini. Make fun of me if you want. Where are you from? I'm originally from the San Fernando Valley. Go to Bobo order? Oh, wow. Okay, so I like the ones with passion fruit and coffee. Favorite play or musical? Okay, so my favorite play would have to be Shakespeare's Othello, and my favorite musical, I think, is Sweeney Todd. Any hidden talents? Uh, yeah, hidden talent. I can put my tongue in my nose. Can you show us? Yeah. We'll keep it a secret. Thank you. Best role you've ever played? Okay, the best role I've ever played was actually J.D. and Heather's. A dream role of yours? Roger and Rent one time, but I also kind of feel like the gender bent Teddy tenor thing is getting a little tired at this point. So many people don't know about you. Oh, okay, I didn't cry when I was born, and I've eaten two scorpions. Favorite cafe to study at? Oh, I'm hardcore Milano. I never go to Strata, ever. Favorite place in Eshelman? Uh, I mean, other than the chambers and the lounge, I do love the fifth floor single cell bathrooms because it's a great place to cry after a Senate meeting. If you could make a documentary, what would it be about? Oh my gosh, I think I would actually make a documentary about the Girl Scouts who sell cookies on Sprout. They're super hardcore. One thing you can't live without? Um, well it's actually two. It's my guinea pigs, Rosemary and Persimmon. The last person you texted? I think it was Newhawk Colfin. She's the external affairs vice president of UC Berkeley. What major are you? I'm a political science major, which I know is super original. What year are you? I'm a third year. Other than being a senator, what else are you involved with on campus? Okay, so I'm currently the graphic designer for various stage productions. I make posters, social media graphics, all that stuff. And I also, last semester when I had a little more free time, I was in a show with them. I was Winston in 1984. Favorite place to hang out on campus? My favorite place to hang out. Oh, well, it's raining, so I'm a little jaded. But when it's not raining, I like to sit outside barrels in that little grass patch that's facing GBC. The sun hits it perfectly. Best class you've taken at Berkeley? English 100. It was your Shakespeare class. It's awesome. Worst class you've taken at Berkeley? Uh, I would have to say stats too, but there's nothing wrong with it. I just hate math. General advice for Berkeley students? Uh, I would say that whatever it is, it's not that deep. Any plans after graduation yet? Oh my gosh, I hate thinking about that. Um, because my plan right now is to graduate, but I would say that after I graduate, I'm looking forward to calling my parents more often and sleeping a little bit more. Now moving to things relating more to your Senate office. Sure. What's one exciting project happening in your Senate office this semester? Well, we have a bunch of exciting stuff coming up, but I would say the biggest thing and the thing I'm most excited for and nervous for is the QD Health and Wellness Summit. It's a major conference we're planning for April. What is one thing you look for in someone who's going to work in your office? Well, I mean, I came in with no experience, so I think the only thing that matters is passion. One thing you love about your community? <sighs> I love my community for so, so many reasons, but I think the cutie community is especially special because we are the community that never happens. That's in every community. What keeps you motivated in your position? Um, the only thing that keeps me going at the end of the day is seeing the work I do impact the lives of the students I represent for the better. How many meetings do you usually attend a week? Like, between 7 and 12. What are some things your office has done this past semester? Okay, so I'm really proud of all the work we've done. We hosted like 15 community engagement events. 
Some of my favorite of those were God is Love, which is a photo shoot we did on Sproul. We hosted National Coming Out Day, which was super fun. And we also hosted a free flu shot clinic, which was really, really helpful for low-income uninsured students. Um, we passed three resolutions, some amending bylaws, some about trans student protections. Uh, I was able to help Chancellor Chris draft a statement she issued to the whole campus about trans protections. We established the CUNY Student Needs Survey and we established GMAG, which I'm really excited about. And Teddy, if I don't stop you there, we might be here forever. <laughs> Possibly. How can people get more involved with your community? Um, well, my office has an open door policy. We're really intentional about that. And I think that the QR also always makes opportunities available. Any events coming from your office this semester? This semester, yeah. I mean, next week we are hosting the CUNY Communities of Color panel, and I'm really excited about it. How can non-trans slash queer people help the community? Um, I think the main thing when you're not identifying is to listen and to show up in solidarity when you're asked to. How late do you usually stay out, stay out for Senate meetings? Uh, last night we were there until about 11, and on average I would say between 11 and 12. How do you de-stress after a Senate meeting? I like almost always rant to my girlfriend, make some pasta, and feed my guinea pigs some spinach. How many times have you gotten tea with the Chancellor? We don't get tea, but we email. The worst thing you hate about being a Senator? Um, I would say bureaucracy, red tape. The thing you like best about being a Senator? Like I said, the community that makes it like worth working for. If you had to pick three people to be stuck in the Eshelman elevator with, who would it be? Tiffany Pollard. Tyra Banks and Solange Knowles because I want her to beat my ass in an elevator. Iconic. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye, Teddy.